Hey there everyone, this is Raokao, uh, this is Taco Man, Kuzatsu World. It's a video game that I've wanted to play in a while, but I just couldn't really find the time for it. Now I've decided I'd make the time for it. Hi there, uh, you see here this does not count. I basically just tried the level just to see if it would work. It took me 20 levels to play, 20 minutes to, to, to be the, the first area part because I think I just want to make sure it worked and also that you know uh, no one likes to see me faffle for a million years so let's let's begin as you can see there is options it's pretty great I don't know what a lot of these means but uh, they exist also there's a gallery where you can look at rewards but I phantasm rewards and insane rewards and words rewards. Rewards from there's my scores. Don't know what that means, but it's a ball that spins. There's replays in case you want to save, and then there's locked. These are pretty great. I love locks. They remind me of doors I can close. Let's start the game. It's pretty great. It's a video game. Taco Man. I could say things, but it seems like it wouldn't be of any use. I don't know what any of these words mean, by the way. But the word, the, the world and the sun is approaching, and the sky is falling, and Chicken Little wasn't around to warn us. The result? Slight disaster. But only a little bit. Luckily, we have some form of hero-like critter to help us. It has a smile, and also a pair of eyes, only one of which is available in profile, obviously. I mean, otherwise that would be just silly. She'd be a flounder. That'd be crazy. I ain't marrying no flounder. So hey, there's Taco Man. Taco Man already, you can move around, as you can see, you can jump, you can dash. You can dash, you can also air dash, and you can like multi air dash, it's pretty weird. There's bows on the side, I don't know what that means, on my health, that's my health. There's a score, I can shot, I can charge, I can supercharge, and I can amulet charge. Also, uh, what else can I do? Oh yeah, I got melees. Uh, no blady kicks for you and me, and if you press buttons, it changes things. If you press up, she does a helicopter. And flash kick, and also uh, this attack, which I think. Whoa! I wasn't aware of that. I'm thinking of. Uh, what? I, I, what's a stampede? There it is. Though, so, yeah. These are the controls. Uh, that's the background that's flashing, and there it says press the button. And also, she can air. Uh, no. Basically, this controls super well, and is basically a uh, Mega Man X slash Zero parody. So, uh, that's a me tool. So, yeah, and actually, no, it seriously controls pretty good. I'm honestly kind of surprised by that. Whoa, there, little stin sauce. And also, your kicks are, like, 55 stronger time than your shots, because, obviously... Don't shoot me, please, I'm recording a video. And so, yeah, this is a pretty weird... So these are the me tools, I'm not sure what they represent, other than a pure loss of innocence. But, you know, I, I'm always ready for losing my innocence, you know, it's it's what we're made to do. There's, you know, there's my friend the soy sauce mayonnaise bottle up there in the sky. Always a good friend, uh, always a shoulder to cry on. I'm not doing a pretty good job attacking him, so nuts to you. Don't shoot bubbles at me, it's not very nice. That was a large heart. There's Floundery saying hello, even though I am also Flanders, it's... Kind of confusing. I forgot my controls, but there you go. I can jungle. It's pretty nice to jungle. I've got one bow and two th th two thirds, I guess. It's hard to tell. I don't know the significance. You have directions you can go in. Hey there, buddy. Did you know the sky is falling? It's pretty great. Oh no, the mayonnaise man is after me. But now he's go. Dang it, stupid rock! Stay back in the attic, where you belong and believe, where you believe to belong. And also, you can press... So this is the intro stage, you can tell because there's rock everywhere, and that bunny's throwing gigantic balls of uh, explosions everywhere in the world. Uh, how's it going, Atomic Dress? How do you feel for a hoedown? Oof, I probably shouldn't be hit in the face by a giant projectile. 
if you dash, you go through things, as is the way things are decided in life. Hey there, giant projectile, I need to like pay attention and dodge stuff sometimes. As you can see, the boss health is multi-layered. This means that there's more than one layer of health. It's, I, I can tell these informatives uh, with a lot of, you know, professionalism because I got ready and ate like dinner before filming a video. It's, that never happens, except when it does, which is sometimes. Uh, the secret here is that if I was physically attacking the boss, I'd, make, I'd be doing a lot more damage, but then I need to stay close, and like, who wants to stay close to that? Like, for reals here. See, look, look how much damage I'd be doing if I'd be kicking the boss. But then who wants to kick a boss? That's crazy. Don't- Oh jeez, don't do- Don't do that- Don't- ah! I got killed. So this is what happens when you die, you land back from the air, and you're like, Hello, tutorial text, you're back! Yeah. So yeah, that- Let's go the lounge road. As you can see, the boss doesn't take a lot of gruff. When it comes to killing you, it's like, Yeah, I'm fairly large, and the size of at the very least three mammoths. You know what, like, I feel like I really don't need to try and go out of my way to be wacky. This game kinda speaks for itself as I run into things randomly. You shot me! Don't do that, stupid rabbit! You know who does that? Rude people! Are you a rude person? Obviously not. So this time, I'm going to get hit by a giant orb. It's pretty great. I love orbs when they're hitting me. It reminds me of... Wait, that hurt? Oh, I guess the, the ectoblasm shot had an effect. Ugh. Just kick, kick, kick the world. Punch the world. Peanut the world. Eat the world. Cashew the world. So, just sitting there and doing things forever. Not a viable strategy, it looks like. Well, kind of. Whoops, I went right in the blast like a dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Warning! Okay, you didn't throw it right in my face this time, it's an improvement. We can now cooperate and live in guilty pleasures. Oh man, good times. Okay, you're not charging up anything silly for me. That's nice of you. Got a giant amulet tree for me and you. Ugh, what's to you? I'm just gonna go ahead and kick you into a land beyond understandment. Oh, shoot. Killing me tools before it is too late. There's health on the ground, but it's being baked. In, you know, the aspect of being cooked, not in the aspect of being cooked. Uh, let's be, you know, using the correct terminology here. It's important, otherwise, people will not understand you when you're going to the supermarket to order, you know, olive oil. You might think, oh, well, are you talking about the Popeye character? Or are you talking about, you know, the miscellaneous bear that lives in the basement? Here you just gotta be careful and not dumb and dodge. And there you go! You don't actually beat the level, but you do gain this ability and I have no idea what it does. I think this might be related to skills you get from bosses. I honestly have no idea, but you can do it, and also, you know, there's sun outside, and also the level isn't over. You can probably tell by the video length. <laughs> Maybe, probably. It was merely the sub-boss. I don't know what it represents, so let's call it vile. Ow! Stupid rock! Please be considerate of the major forces in politics. Bread, butter, and napkins. I mean, let's be serious honest here. Okay. Well, stupid bunny! Oh man, your face is corrupted with the lightness. Whoa, jeez, that, that was a violent explosion. Ah, oh, jeez, and you're kind of murdering my face. Please stop it, rabbit. When in my test run, I didn't have nearly as much problems. This is the effect of a camera 
and the requirements of speech, I suppose. Right, Flandies? You're, you're shooting at me. You shouldn't do that, because I can shoot at you too. Also, you're hiding stuff. You shouldn't hide stuff. Whoa there, little thing. I don't know what you represent, but the... I, I'm, there's keep having text downstairs and the downstairs, uh, and I don't know their meaning, because, oh man, I, I, I couldn't muster the effort of doing a wall jump. Truly, the world is over. How do I deal with you doing this? Sounds unreasonable. I like how when you shoot a thing, its projectiles returns away home. It's very nice and idyllic, you know? If you want to use the correct terminology, please ask uh, Library of Congress. I'm pretty sure they know how to look up words. Otherwise, they choose a different name for themselves. Is there anything up here? No, it's just columns. Also, we seem to be upside down. I just realized, looking at the background, when did that happen? Legs, the ketchup bottle, do you any of you guys know? Oh jeez, don't trip, you're gonna explode things. Ah, death welcomes me in open heart surgery. Oh jeez, you're, ugh, you're the worst thing. Worst thing, meat rabbit skins, foot, legs. Where am I now? Hey, Flanders! I'm safe from you, but you're not safe from me! Are you dead? I don't know what someone like. If it's a combo meter or what? Hey! Mayonnaise! No time for you! None for you! Oh, jeez, this is like an environmental disaster of enemies here. These be all destroyed. It would make me feel quite happy and jealous of the happiness of no one. Oh jeez! I'm gonna, I'm gonna die again. I don't wanna die. No one wants to die. Ooh, there's a health down there. In the world behind the sun. Ugh! Make an ace! You can die. Meanwhile, I'm just going to hide amongst the sky. Nothing personal or anything. It's just, you know, at some point my survivability goes above the needs of bears in the North Pole. Right, Flanders? You fell. You're like a stupid dumb. Good job! I gotta go up, because I follow arrow. I mess up, mess up controls. Wait, no, no, shoot! My, my control... Okay. Well, I'm probably gonna die. I'm probably gonna edit this out, but my controller just randomly uh, got, like on, um, what's the word here, like, decentered or something? Well, we seem to have found our way in the space between the suns and the moon. It's probably a friendly looking like place, right? Hey there, Sanai, how's it going? You've seen better days. Why are you warning me? You shouldn't do that. Also, throwing a funny face at me, that's just unru- Hey, snake are not for biting. Ooh, hell, thank you. That's very nice of you, Sanai. <laughs> I don't know what's going on! I don't think I wanna know! Ooh, whoa, what's that? Just, I am aware of- Don't- That's just rude. Also, a tree- uh, Kick that tree. Trees are for kicking, and they are also for- e Did I get any damage as of yet? It seems fairly incredulous. Oh, jeez, just- Nah! Nuts to you, Sanai! <laughs> I'm just gonna kick you in the stupid face! If you don't wanna die, then I'm going to kill you! That's just how things work! Ah, shoot! Wow, that did a lot of damage. But yeah, the zero count, so I wasn't too worried. Uh, this game run through as a whole could have gone better. And also, it could have gone better. Hey there, Sanai. It's kinda too bad, I knew you were coming, but to be fair, I saw you in the trailer. <laughs> it just looks so weird and goofy. I got a feeling this game is mostly about weird memes I don't know. It's pretty great, I suppose, and something. Like, am I doing it? Oh, okay, okay, you've got blue and you've got, like... It's just really, really close in terms of shade. That's some pretty good decide and design decisions there. Congratulations, stupid face. Whoa. I wanted to kick that stupid face, but you went all... I'm not gonna let you. I am not some bacon. Gonna kick a tree into heaven. That is how I'm going to meet my end. Hey, everybody. 
I really love the hairpiece being all bitey. I always thought that Sanai's hairpiece looked really silly in a sense, and uh, it's a big old snake, you know? Like, who wants to have a snake in their hair? That doesn't sound like something you want to be... Whoa, sh you're... Whoa, that's a good headache you got there, Sanai. Do you want to share? Well, I don't want to share. Doesn't tell me you should share with me, then. I'm just stringing sounds together in the hopes that they make words. It's great, and I kick the face. I'm gonna kick your face, and you're going to give me headaches or something. Well, now I think you've got sufficient amounts of damage that I can now just kind of run in and kick you until the forever. The forever sphere is where I can find all my shoe wear. And that is the intro stage. <laughs> hey there, cutscene, how's it going? Who are you, strange wiggly face, squishy? Will you now live on my back? That sounds like a good meal. Yay! I beat the game! I've defeated many creatures, and I got a D. That's pretty fancy. Now that I've beat the game, I can now play the game! We have a choice. Basically, we got a shrimp. We got a tiny toy robot. The very last thing you're gonna see when you die. The second to last thing you're gonna see when you die. Philia. Something angry. Something dead. And the squiggle. Vote for your choice, and I'm gonna pick something of my choosing somewhere anyways. This is Valkow, and this is Taco Man, and this has begun.